Hey guys, this is Ron. Just want to talk real quick about uh, route summarization. So you can combine uh, multiple routes into one uh, advertisement. Uh, and doing this will enable, enable you to have a smaller routing table uh, and less advertisements that you have to actually send during each routing update. Uh, key here though is that your networks need to be contiguous. And by that I mean if I have these subnets on my network and I have this subnet on my network, I can combine them into one advertisement. And that advertisement is this one here. All right. So it basically is going to be an advertisement for both of those. All right. Now what I can't do though uh, is if I have this network or these sub networks and I have these two sub networks I can't make my advertisement as this because this is basically going to say I have everything in between these two when in fact I don't actually have some of these smaller networks alright and those networks might exist on somebody else's uh, might exist somewhere else on your network or might exist on somebody else's network and so if I summarize that whole thing out I can cause some real you know some routing problems alright so there are two methods that I've seen uh, employed uh, to basically build you know these aggregate routes or these summary routes okay one method is just like I've shown I've got these two networks and if I have one of this network uh, you know this network as well knowing that this network here basically encompasses both of them I can just advertise it out that way alright so if I have let's say this network I know uh, a slash 30 gives me two usable IPs or two usable uh, bits for my hosts which means I have a, uh, a block size of four I can go from zero to three on this one uh, also have a block size of four here so I can go from four to seven from here I've got a 29 so that's a block size of eight so I'm gonna go from eight to uh, 15 I'm going to go from 16 to 23 here. And I'm going to go from 24 uh, up to 31 here. Now, as you can see, all of these are contiguous. I go all the way from 0 all the way up to 31. So that's a block size of 32. So I can advertise it out as 192.168.0.0 slash 27. All right, and 27 gives me a block size of 32. All right, so that's going to make one network with an advertisement from zero to 31. All right, so you can you can kind of look it up, line them up, make sure you're contiguous, and build your advertisement that way. I suggest getting a hold of of the chart that I showed you previously uh, and using it to build uh, your summary routes. It's pretty handy. All right. Another method is to convert to binary. All right. So I've got uh, 32 slash 30, 36 slash 30, I got 40 slash 29, 48 slash 29, and 56 slash 29. All right. So I've converted these all to binary. And what I'm looking for here is if I go from left to right, I'm going to compare the digits in each of the columns. If they're the same, then I copy it down. If they're different, then I don't. Uh, and I'm basically just going to keep going until I hit a column that doesn't match. So all zeros here, all zeros in the second column, all ones in the third column, but here in the fourth column, I've got uh, I've got different numbers. So I'm going to stop the third column. So 
this third column is going to, or this uh, answer is going to be 001 because I copied the first three and then I want to represent the network so just as in any uh, as in subnetting your hosts if you want it to be a network are all zeros so I make it all zeros alright so this is going to be 192.168.0. This is the 128. This is the 64. This is the 32. So it's going to be 32. Slash. And I'm going to count the number of columns that were the same. So uh, in this case, we're talking about class C here. So we have 24 bits in front of it. So this is 25, 26, and 27. Alright. So there we go. So this 27 should be 32, uh, basically 32 bits, or a block size of 32. So I'm going to go from 32 to 63. And we can kind of verify that. We have a block size of uh, 4. So I have 32 to uh, 35. We have 36 through block size of 4 so 39 let's see this is a block size of 8 so we have 40 through 47 then we have 48 through uh, 56 uh, so that's 55 so then 56 uh, block size of 8 so this is going to be through uh, 54, 53, or 63. So if we look through, we've got from 32 all the way to 63 as a contiguous block, 32 to 63. So same same group, one advertisement. All right. Now you can get into problems if you don't go through and verify your contiguous blocks. If you come to this side, I've already converted them to their binary equivalent. So let's figure out uh, by comparing the columns. So the first column is the same. Second column is the same. Third column is the same. Fourth column is not. So we copy the first three, and then we do all zeros. So 001, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. Sorry. Oops. Put this on this side. So this is a 128 So this is 192.168.0.32 slash. And again, we, we used 3 here, so it's a 27. So this is the same advertisement as before. So it's going to be 32 to slash 27 is a block size of 32. So we're going to 63. But if we come up here, uh, I already know that I'm, I've, I've got some gaps. So I've got a slash 29. This is a block size of 4. So 32 through... Uh, or correction. This is a slash 29. So it's a block size of 8. So this is 32 through 39. 40 through 47. Uh, this is a block size of 4. So we've got 52 through uh, 55. And I've got 56 through uh, 59. All right. So if you notice here, I have a gap right here. And then I have a gap here at the end. So if I, if I do this advertisement out, I'm going to be advertising for networks that I'm not currently using. Now, you might do that on purpose. Maybe you have a plan to use those at some point, and so you're okay with, with advertising out those networks. But that's up to you. That's, that's how you design your network. Uh, I'm just showing you that if you aren't careful, you can summarize for routes that don't exist right now. So you just have to be careful. So those are the two methods. You know, being able to look at, okay, well, here's my block. So I need a block size from 0 to 31. So that's a block size of 32. So this is a slash 27. All right. And the other method is to convert to binary 
start checking out each of the columns when it stops being the same you know you start copying down so I copied the first three because those were the same and the rest became zeros because I'm talking about a network and that does the same thing uh, like I mentioned having a chart like this is uh, is a handy tool to be able to quickly look at okay I've got this network I've got this network I've got this network I can combine the entire thing as this network and it will basically make one advertisement for all my sub networks that exist in there alright so I hope you got something out of it route summarization is pretty cool uh, it's not too difficult to do you just gotta pay attention to make sure you're not advertising for routes that you don't have so uh, thanks for